Are you competing or are you creating and looking to succeed in your network marketing business? Hello, my name is Fernando from FernandoLoiza.com, coming to you from beautiful Geelong here in Australia. And I want to pose this question to you today if you are in network marketing and you are trying to grow a successful business. Now, from a young age, we're all taught to compete. You compete at school, you compete in sports, uh, then you get a job, you compete for uh, positions in your job, you want to move up the corporate ladder maybe. And so we're conditioned all the time to compete, compete. Now, there's a problem with competition, however, and that is that in, by nature, when you think about competing, it tells you that there is a limited supply. If you're competing for a slice of pie, there's only so many pieces of the pie that you can have and you might yet miss out. And what I've noticed in network marketing is that what it does for people that are trying to grow businesses is that it creates a, um, uh, it creates a disease, <laughs> if you want to call it that, and it's called, or let's call it a condition, right? Probably for a better word. And the condition is comparitis. You start comparing yourself to other people. Why? They're doing better. Why are they doing better? They're ranking. Uh, they're getting trips. They're getting cars. What are they doing? What do you know? What's wrong with me? And when you think about that, is that really doing anything to serve you as far as helping you move forward? Probably not. In fact, it probably causes you to paralyze yourself and be inactive because your vibrations then is going to be all wrong. And then as you go to talk to people to invite them to look at your opportunity, you're in the wrong vibration. So even though you might be saying all the right things, the emotions, the feelings are wrong or they're not congruent. And so you're going to get them to be indecisive saying, well, they're saying the right things, but I'm not sure about this person. So you know what? I'm going to think about it. And when someone tells you to think about it, what they're really saying to you is that there's an incongruency between your message and between your emotions. So how do we stop ourselves from competing? Well, we need new awareness. Now, uh, Wallace D. Waddles, who wrote The Science of Getting Rich in 1903, talks about it. And Bob Proctor did a whole seminar on The Science of Getting Rich. And that is, in fact, the book that Rhonda Byrne used to create the movie The Secret, which you may be familiar with, which was that runaway hit movie. And Bob Proctor, in fact, was featured in it. And it talks about creation. Now, there are universal laws, energies forever moving into form. It's the perpetual law of transmutation. And when you understand that energy is, there's enough supply, then you can allow yourself to start to come from creation. Now, when you come from creation, the belief is that there'll always be enough. There's enough for you, there's enough for me. And really, when you think about network marketing, there's always going to be more prospects than there are going to be people trying to help people join their business. So you're never going to really run out. But when you have this mindset now, what it does is it makes a mental shift because now you're not focusing on, oh my gosh, they're going to get all the people in their team. Now, we do hear about people having big teams, you know, with uh, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, and you wonder if you'd ever get there. When you understand creation, you stop worrying about that and you just get to work. Now, another important principle uh, that uh, it talks about in the science of getting rich is leaving everyone with the impression of increase. Now, that's probably the best way you're going to stop yourself from competing because now there's a whole different approach. When you think about leaving everyone with the impression of increase, all you're looking to do is serving someone and leaving them feeling better than before they found you. You have contributed to them in some way. You have added value into their life. And if you add value into someone's life, whether they choose to join with you at that point or not, doesn't really matter because you have created an energy and a vibration. You've actually sown a seed. And every seed that you sow will, will and must bring forth fruit, even though it may not be from the person you sowed into. So what I love about this philosophy is that when you understand the impression of increase, when you understand coming from um, creation, then all you want to do is serve people, knowing that there's no attachment to that one person because every seed will yield fruit at some point. And as you operate from a vision and you know that and you have that understanding, that awareness and that certainty, you're going to always give with your heart, with everything that you have to really empower that person, whether they choose to join your opportunity or not. So I want to leave you with that challenge today. Just reflect uh, within yourself and think, how have I been operating? Have I been operating? Have I been competing? Or have I been creating? And have I really been thinking about leaving everyone I meet with the impression of increase? And as you make those two mental shifts, 
I believe things will start to change for you for the better. You may be doing great already. You're just going to go to another level. Hope that makes a difference for you today.